Hi everyone, this is Nick Sintel from the OSINT Curious Project and in this 10 minute tip we're going to start to take a look at the theme of image geolocation. How do I find out where an image was taken and how can I verify and prove um, that I know where it was taken? Um, it's a complex topic and but in this first part we're going to look at one of the simplest and easiest ways of verifying where an image was taken and that's by looking at the what we call the EXIF data in the image. Now when a photograph is taken with a digital camera or with a mobile phone, um, a lot of extra data that we call metadata is embedded in that image. So it will contain information about when the photograph was taken, the camera settings and things like that. Um, but what information um, there is, what information we can find in there that's really useful to us as OSINT researchers is that these images often contain the GPS coordinates of where the photograph was taken. So if you can find the GPS coordinates of where the image was taken, it's really, really easy for us to geolocate that image. So finding the EXIF data in an image is the easiest way to geolocate an image quickly. However, um, as you may be aware, most um, websites, most social media platforms, any messaging apps, anywhere that you might want to find a photo that you're researching, and those places tend to remove EXIF data from images. So although finding EXIF data and GPS coordinates is the easiest and fastest way to geolocate anything, most of the images we come across on the internet during our research do not contain this information. That's why it's always best to work with an original image if you can, depending on what you're doing. Um, but be aware that most of the photos we come across uh, require slightly more complex techniques and that's what we'll look at in some of the later videos um, in this series. However, for now, we're going to look at this photograph of these cyclists out in the desert and we're going to learn how to extract EXIF data from this image because it does contain EXIF data. And then we're going to research uh, the information that we extract and then we're going to verify it. And you'll hear me say those phrases, extract, research, verify, again and again and again, because that is, uh, that's the outline of the methodology that we're going to use. We're going to extract information um, by whatever means necessary. We're then going to research that information we extract from a photo, and then we're going to verify that the information is correct. And that's um, a, a broad overview of how we can successfully geolocate images, whether they have EXIF data or not. So how do we extract the EXIF data from this image? Well, <clears throat> there are plenty of tools, uh, fortunately, that will help us to do that. I'm working in Google Chrome today, and uh, Chrome has several extensions available that will help you extract EXIF data. There are also plenty for Firefox as well, if you, if you like to work in Firefox, but I'm using Chrome today. So we go to the Chrome Web Store, first of all, and if we just search for EXIF, We'll find there are uh, there's a few different EXIF uh, re readers and add-ons available. Um, my favourite one that I'm going to install here is EXIF Viewer Pro. So we we'll just click on the extension, and then we click Add to Chrome. Uh, we give it permission because we need it to uh, to uh, we don't want to turn on sync. We do want it to be able to view what we're seeing. And uh, I'll just refresh my uh, page now. I've loaded that. Uh, and what you should be able to see in the top left corner here is um, this small little blue camera. It's, I, it's hard to make out against a blue background, um, but that will tell you that there's some EXIF data in this photograph. Now we want to extract that. So what we do in our, with our uh, image, if we right click, we now see in the menu there's the option here to show EXIF data. So we click on that option. And then we get this little menu that appears on the right hand side. And we go through it, we can see it contains absolutely tons of information. This is all embedded in the image. We don't see it with our eyes, but it is there. Uh, so we see the date and time it was taken, which is uh, maybe of interest. There's a lot of um, information about the actual camera settings uh, to the shutter speeds and things like that. But what we're really interested in for the purposes of geolocation is where this image was taken. So <clears throat> you can see here, there's, a, there's an extra tab on the end, geolocation. And what this extension does, it pulls out uh, the GPS coordinates from the photo, and then it puts them on Google Maps. So that is geolocated. We've extracted that information. 
Um, now it's tempting just to say, well, that's it, we've geolocated the photo, um, but that's a, that's a little bit too easy because we haven't actually proved anything yet um, about where this photograph was taken. We need to uh, verify that this is actually correct. So, because uh, GPS information, it can, although it's rare, it, it can be faked, it can be added to a photograph afterwards. Um, that isn't the case here. But we, the important lesson to learn from this is that we need to just verify what our sources are telling us and not just necessarily accept them as at face value. So, uh, what we do, if we, uh, we've got the coordinates here, which is showing that this photo uh, was taken somewhere in uh, the Joshua Tree National Park. So we will view a map there, and that takes us straight to a Google Map um, link. So um, what do you do next? Well, before we zoom straight in, let's uh, minimize that down here. We're going to research what we found in the photo and see if it matches. The research for this is quite easy because the EXIF data does an awful lot of it for us, um, but it's still good to practice the habit. So what we should find uh, when we're doing our research and verification is that the location um, that has come up in the GPS coordinates, which is here, I'll just uh, zoom in slightly so it's a little bit easier. There we are. Just, there we go. We should be able to look at features in the original image and then find them um, in the the place on Google Maps that's come from the GPS coordinates. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to really do another sort of round of extraction and we're going to extract a few information points from this photo and then see if we can find them at the real world location. So for example, we have uh, telegraph poles in a row on the left hand side of the road as we're looking. We have the white speed limit 55 sign on the right hand side. We have the yellow diamond sign and we have these distinctive mountains with a little bit of snow on top in the background. So if this information is correct, I should be able to look on a map as I'll do as we'll do in a moment. And I should be able to find the telegraph poles, the mountain and the two signs in the same location um, as I did in the original uh, image. So how do we do that? Well, um, you might be familiar with Google Maps, which is great, but to really get that sort of um, that bird's eye view, as it were, you want to look at um, Google Street View, which will enable us to, if this is right, we should be able to put ourselves on this little red pin and we should be able to see exactly what's in this original photo. So to do that, we, um, we click on the little yellow pegman down here and you don't have to drag the pegman around, you just click on him or her and then click on one of the blue lines so we'll click as close to the pin as possible now can we see what we saw in the original photo so and this looks pretty good so far we're going to do a bit of fine tuning um, now i'm going to try and verify what i are the, all the features i saw here in the first photo are they present on google street view here so let's have a look I'll zoom in a little bit actually, um, just to make it a little bit easier. We'll take a step back. There we are. There we go. That looks pretty good so far. Although we haven't checked everything, um, it looks pretty good. So we had telegraph poles on the left hand side, and we have the telegraph poles on the left hand side. We have the speed limit sign on the right hand side here and we have the speed limit sign on the right hand side there and we have the yellow diamond sign and we even have the mountain in the background although that's got slightly more snow on in this picture we can clearly see that um, the gps coordinates are right we've geolocated the image successfully the exif data is correct and so if anyone were to ask us now we don't just know from a um, the raw exif data where this image was taken we've actually researched and the information in the image and we verified that it's correct. Um, we've, we can know actually even to within a few feet of where it was taken because the GPS data is that accurate. So that is how to geolocate an image with EXIF data. As you can see, geolocating with EXIF data is very quick. Um, it's very easy compared to other methods. 
But as we'll see, and as you may already be aware, most images that we come across on the internet, on social media, on websites, in messaging apps and so on, they do not contain this, uh, this information because it's stripped out of the image uh, at the time that it's published. So although EXIF is brilliant, and if you get a chance to work with an original image, um, it's absolutely indispensable. Um, but most of the time, we will not be able to use this technique. But what we will do in the next video is look at an image which doesn't have any EXIF data, but we will apply the same extract, research and verify methodology and see how we can geolocate an image without EXIF data. So stay tuned for the next video. And in the meantime, there's a blog that accompanies this uh, article if you want to go through stuff in a bit more depth. Any questions, uh, then just post them in the comments and we'll do our best to help you. Thanks for watching and I look forward to you joining me in the next tutorial.